Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Pam and in today's video I am showing you part two of my thrifting adventures when I visited my son in Moore, Oklahoma. If you haven't seen part one, go check that one out. We continue shopping in the Salvation Army store today and I was so excited because everything was grouped by color. So let's continue to shop around and see what I found to bring back to South Carolina. This leaf tray from Portugal caught my eye, but it had a tiny chip. This cookie jar looked vintage and so much fun. I loved how the children were raised and they were hanging onto the windmill. This jar was made by Tulip Time in 1986 and the colors were still bright and vibrant. It had paint loss, some chipping on the tulip at the very top, but isn't it adorable anyway? I loved this plate. There was only one, but it would be a fun plate to display on the wall or in a little vignette in your kitchen. These greens make me feel so summery. I'm not usually a green fan, but these were deep colors and they were stunning. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. I like this little blue bowl. It was from World Market, but I already have too many small bowls, so I left this one there for someone else. I'm not really a fan of this decanter, but this vase caught my attention. It's a modern piece, but I love the shape and the colors. I could see this one in my home. This was a super heavy piece of glass. I think it might be a glass planter. It is perfect to add a little flower frog in the bottom and then you can build your arrangement from there. Here we have a Fitz and Floyd decorative plate. It was quite pretty with the lemons on the front. This picture, I think it was hand blown, but I could be wrong. It had a bumpy texture and I was a little nervous about picking it up. It was quite heavy. Look at this gorgeous plate. I loved the birds, the blue and the yellow. It was made in Spain and it had a little tiny string on the back for hanging on the wall.
I wanted to check this piece out before I moved on to another shelf. My husband picked it up and thought it may have been an incense holder, but it turned out to be a toothbrush holder. Check out this wooden salad server set. It has metal on the end of the handle, maybe brass or maybe silver plated. I do regret that I did not pick these up, y'all. I think I was just so overwhelmed. I had to take a look at this stunning piece. I believe it is an art glass candle holder, but I could be wrong. The price for this could not be any better. This teapot was pretty with the swans, but it was missing its lid and it was $5.99. I really like this duck teapot. I especially like the brass handle and tiny tea bag holder on top. And surprisingly, it was not chipped. I've had luck with selling teapots in the past, but I'm not sure about getting this one home. Do you remember the Budweiser frogs? Bud wise er. I think they debuted in a Super Bowl commercial. This glass had been through the dishwasher and the paint was quite faded. There are tons of Disney mugs for sale online. This grumpy mug might sell for about $12 on eBay. This marble bud vase was in good condition and would sell for about 10 to $15 on eBay. I'm looking through some platters and plates here when I see a beautiful Halls autumn leaf bowl. I collect this pattern and I usually find pieces that are scratched or chipped. This bowl was in beautiful condition. I could not believe it. I can tell it had been well cared for. This Lenox Swan was lovely. It was a little plain and there is one with 24 karat gold trim out there somewhere and it looks a little bit fancier but neither of them have a high resale value. I've made it over to the yellow and gold shelves and about this time my husband found a comfy chair and was playing games on his phone. He's a great shopper but had looked everything over and was giving me a little bit more time to agonize over what I wanted to buy.
I see these quail everywhere in antique stores, so I left them on the shelf for someone else to find. This little fawn caught my eye, but it was missing its tail. You know I love a good brass planter, but I have plenty of those at home, but something up top grabbed my attention. I loved these candle holders. They were not brass, but a resin material, and they were a little bit lightweight, and they were originally from At Home for $12.99 each. These trinket bowls were great. I love the images on them. Hey, I missed that puppy dog mug while I was looking at this mirror. I don't think the mirror was anything special. I went back around to check out this elephant piece. It looked to be a homemade piece. It was a Holland mold from 1989 and they did a pretty good job with it. I made my way over to the basket section and found a huge butt basket. Technically, it's called a buttocks basket, and they were used by farmers to collect their eggs. The shape of the basket kept the eggs from rolling out. This basket is huge. What's going on here? Do you remember a few videos back, I found a small version of this folding candle holder? I found the medium sized one and this one is painted gold. If I were back home, I would have snatched this one up so fast. I would have picked up this globe candle holder too. It looked to be an older piece and it's something I haven't seen before. I really liked it. There were lots of great iron pieces and these candlesticks were fantastic. They were modern, but I liked how slender and simple they looked. The first thing I picked up was this blue and white vintage duck teapot. With blue and white still being a hot seller, I couldn't leave this one behind. The brass and the tiny tea bag holder made it so I couldn't resist. You know I could not walk away from this beautiful bowl. It was in great condition and I just needed it. Well, I wanted it. I had to get a box and ship a few things home, but I'm so pleased to add this bowl to my collection. I hope you enjoyed shopping along with me while I was far from home in Moore, Oklahoma. If you enjoy this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my friends, I'll be back in South Carolina, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!